to talk about the end of the world. We stand on the brink of Armageddon, diseases for which we have no cure. Fundamentalist states who call for our destruction, nuclear powers over which we have no control. And even if we navigate these dangerous waters, we face other, even more inevitable threats. Global warming will melt the polarized gaps within 80 years, flooding 90% of all habitable areas on Earth. Unchecked population growth will overtake food production in less than 50 years, leading to famine and war. This is not conjecture. This is a fact. One way or another, our world is coming to an end. Now the question is, will we end with it? What do you propose? I propose that we end the world, but on our terms. An orchestrated apocalypse, one that will cleanse the earth of its population but leave its infrastructure and resources intact. It's been done once before, with great success. The chosen few will ride out the storm, not in an ark as in the book of Genesis, but in safety, underground. And when it's over, we will emerge onto a cleansed earth, one that we can then reboot in our image. And just how do you intend to achieve this? The means of our salvation are already at hand. I give to you the T-Virus. I'm here at Krusty Burger for the launch of the highly anticipated Burger Squared. Krusty, what can you tell us about this fantastic new sandwich? I'm glad you asked, Kent. We start with grade A beef, feed that to other cows, then kill them and serve the unholy results on a seven-grain bun. Burger Squared! The math checks out. Cows eating cows? That's an abomination. Now, Lisa, you're a vegetarian, but these cows have made a different choice. And now this lucky reporter will be the first human to sample this delicious crime against nature. Mmm, juicy, flavorful, with just a hint of... Hey, that's my check-cashing arm, you stupid... <laughs> A little tip, you might want to wash me before you eat me. Thank you! The muncher's got mo. It's a disturbing sight. Raccoons that appear confused, shaking, losing their coordination, becoming a... Get out. Tush, po! Tush! Ow! Come here. Y'all believe it's just a raccoon on the side of the road. Here, you hungry? 
Here. Here. Are you hungry? Huh? Are you hungry? Hey. What's wrong? I wonder if he's gotten poison or something because he's not hungry, he's shaking. I know you're hungry. You're not hungry? Uh-oh. He's growling. He's dying. He's dying. Somebody poisoned him. <clears throat> this is what happens when people poison animals. What's wrong with if you eat something, you get it out of your system. Huh? Huh? Yeah, this is not good. I can't pick him up because he'll eat your ass up. You usually don't see raccoons in the daytime, and when you do play, please stay away from them. But this one's dying. Supper. That's not a mushroom, Tim. <laughs> you just got 200 inches of warts. These are pulling them back. I'm not that, that, that one's pretty boogered up, too. That's disgusting.